Yo, what is going on everybody? Oh my god here. I know I have not made a video for probably like probably like six months. Actually like a legit video, it's probably almost been like a year. It's been a long time. Anyway, I had a little bit of time this week. I've been playing the crap out of Call of Duty World War II on the Xbox One. Um, I'm already Master Prestige. I actually hit rank 69 in this video, so giggity to that. Um, but I'm loving this game. We have our second event that just started yesterday, actually the Resistance event. Um, it's basically adding several new weapons, some game modes, stuff like that. Um, but the point of this video is we're going to be looking at the new uh, Volkshem Gewehr, which is a new assault rifle added. Um, it's supposed to be basically like a modded Gewehr where there's like just kind of random parts put together. Um, that's something they did back in World War II apparently. I'm not a huge history buff, but based on Sledgehammer's other additions to the game, they've definitely um, been basing it on like actual historical uh, events, which is pretty cool. They're staying true to what actually happened. Um, and you can see we are going to be running this thing with the grip, the extended mags, high caliber, and advanced rifling. Um, that's how I like to run this. There's definitely other good combinations as well. This is more of like a medium to long range um, class setup, but this thing can honestly excel at any range depending on what attachments you use. It's definitely more like a medium range gun, I'm not going to lie. You get some really long range engagements, you're not going to do too well because the recoil kind of gets the best of you. Um, and the iron sights at long range aren't the cleanest, but medium range is the thing's going to excel. If you want more of a close range setup, what I would recommend is throwing uh, something like a quick draw, steady aim, rapid fire, and then maybe like keeping the high cal on there. Um, high cal is definitely not necessary. I just like it because the natural recoil pattern of this gun, it just kind of kicks slowly upwards. So if you're aiming like mid chest area on people, which is typically what I do, I've had a lot of kills where I notice I'm just kicking slightly up and hitting him in the head. So I'm killing him in fewer bullets than I would because of that high caliber attachment. Um, side note here, they supposedly fixed the spectator glitch. Uh, you guys should know what that is if you've been playing this game at all where you didn't spawn until like 30 seconds in. Um, I don't know if it's fixed per se because all of my games I've been playing today, I'm still not spawning in until about 6 to 7 seconds into the game. So it's better, I'm not going to lie, but I wouldn't call it fixed. So Sledgehammer. They're not going to be watching this, but if you guys um, are watching this and still are having issues, make sure to tweet at them. Um, that seems to be the best way to communicate, sadly, in our current day and age. Our freaking president is doing it that way. So, um, But yeah, just tweet at Activision Sledgehammer and tell them, hey, this is still happening. Better, but it's still an issue. Um, anyway, this gun, so much fun. It's very good. When I first used it yesterday, um, I fortunately had enough armory credits saved up where I could unlock this thing through the collections. I also unlocked the new SMG, um, so I'll probably be making a video on that as well. Um, but anyway, this thing, I thought it was pretty OP, honestly, when I was first using it. The recoil is very minimal. Um, at least what I thought. I mean, when you start getting in longer range engagements, you do definitely start to notice the recoil, and it becomes more of a factor. Um, but close to medium engagements, this thing doesn't feel like it kicks at all, and it really doesn't. I've noticed um, the longer you hold on the trigger, which is true with most guns, but you can get about 10 bullets out of this thing before it really starts to kick up on you. After about the first 10 bullets or so, then you really kind of start um, losing control of it, so you got to be trying to control that recoil more. Having the grip on it helps, um, and I will say I hadn't been running the grip like the first few times I used it. Obviously, I didn't have it unlocked. I didn't have any issue controlling the recoil at close to medium range. Again, like when you get into some of those longer range engagements, it does become an issue. Um, so, and this specific setup I have on this class, which is it's kind of ironic because we're playing on one of the smallest maps on London Docks, but I have the longer range setup on this um, just because that's kind of how I like to play. I like to be able to pick off people at long range. Um, you are going to get outgunned by the PPSHs, the Thompsons at close range. That happens quite a few times in this video. I mean, it's an assault rifle. Those are close range SMGs, high fire rates, it's gonna happen. There's not really anything you can do about that. Having the rapid fire on here does help a little bit with that, but I mean, if you're going up against a PPSH or a Tommy with rapid fire, no chance. So, um, it definitely is more of like a medium range gun, I would say. Um, definitely kind of like a niche weapon too. It's It doesn't really remind me of any of the other ARs that are in the game as of now, which is kind of nice. A lot of times when they add new DLC weapons, it's sort of like recycled guns, just like different iron sights, looks different, sounds different, but it plays pretty similarly to a gun that's already in the game. This one honestly doesn't feel like any of the other auto rifles that are in the game, because most of our rifles in this game I mean, three of them are semi-autos, right? We have the SVT, the M1 Grand, and the M1A1 Carbine. That's three of our eight rifles that came with the game that are straight-up semi-autos. So there's only 
what, five auto rifles to compare to. There's the Johnson, which is the first one. There's the STG, which is pretty good. I guess it, it sort of feels like the STG, I guess. If I had to compare it to something, that's probably what it would be the closest to. Um, and then what else do we have? We have our FG42 in our bar. Maybe that's it. I think there's only seven that came with the game. So, um, four auto rifles. Um, and it's definitely... Yeah, it's probably closest to the STG, I would have to say, if I had to pick one. But it, it feels like a new weapon, which I like. I mean, it's it always sucks when you feel like you're getting into it. It's like, oh, we got new weapons coming in. It's really just kind of something recycled, um, reskinned. And that's definitely not the case with this thing. It feels like a new weapon. Um, we really didn't have, like, a high accuracy, high fire rate assault rifle in this game. We really didn't. Um, and that's kind of what this is. So it's filling a category that really wasn't taken up yet. Um, so it's nice. I mean, compared to the other assault rifles, do I think it's overpowered? No, I don't. I think it's definitely up there. Um, but if you're like looking at competitive play and stuff, I mean, it, the bar is gonna outgun this thing all day. Um, you're not getting three shot kills with this thing at any range. It's definitely a low impact assault rifle. Um, you're getting probably four to five shot kills at most ranges, which is fine. It's got a fast fire rate. It's got very low recoil. It's kind of like uh, any of you that played. Um, like Modern Warfare 2 or Black Ops 3, I'd compare it to like the ACR in Modern Warfare 2 or um, the ICR in Black Ops 3. Just kind of a high fire rate, low recoil, really good at those like medium to longer range engagements. Um, let's see. Um, I guess I'll give you my reasonings for the attachments I've used on this thing. So, really. The grip, it, like I said, not necessary. The reason I've thrown that on there is because I'm trying to make this into a more long-range weapon, um, so we can win some of those long-range engagements, and like I mentioned, the recoil does become an issue at longer range. Uh, I also have the extended mag, just because the high fire rate on this thing. If you're hitting your shots, you can usually only spend like 7 to 8 on each kill, so you can get probably 3 to 4 kills if you're lucky with a single clip, because um, it's got a 30 bullet clip normally. I like having the extra bullet magazine just so I don't have to reload as frequently. I can hopefully pick off like 4 to 5 people with one clip. Or if you're just like spraying at a long range target, you're obviously sending more bullets down the range. You're probably not going to be quite as accurate, so it's just nice to have um, for some of those longer range engagements. Uh, the high kill I already mentioned, this thing naturally kicks up a little bit slowly on you, so if you have that high kill on and you're kicking up into their head, it's just going to get you that time to kill a lot faster which is definitely a nice thing to have. Um, and then our last attachment um, is the advanced rifling. I did, did I mention that already? I don't think so. Um, and the advanced rifling, that's just going to increase our, our, our um, kill ranges, right? So our four hit kill range, five hit kill range, those will become better. So you're basically not going to be having to put as many bullets into them, even in some of those long range engagements, which if you're trying to make this a long range weapon, obviously that's an attachment you're going to want to use. Um, like I did say, there's definitely a closer range setup you can make for this if you throw on steady Enemy aim, rapid fire, do the quick draw, um, another attachment of your choice. I'm running primed in this one. Um, you definitely don't need four attachments on this thing. Like, if I had to get rid of one, I'd probably honestly just take off the grip. Um, if you want to run it with, like, um, any other ordinance or any other basic training, excuse me, with the infantry class. Or if you just want to run it with primed in, like, one of the other divisions, so, like, mountain or, um, Airborne and stuff like that, that'd be fine too. Um, you could probably get away with two attachments on this thing to be honest. Like if I had to pick two out of the four I'm using, I'd probably pick the extended mag and the high caliber to be honest. Um, I don't usually like high caliber in this game, but on this gun, just because of the recoil pattern, I find it pretty helpful to have. Um, anyway, I, yeah, I don't know if there's really much else I want to discuss in regards to this gun. I apologize to all my like subscribers. I know, I mean, I've been pretty transparent about the fact that I'm pretty busy. Um, with my schooling and stuff and it's pretty tough for me to make videos regularly so i will kind of just randomly pop in and out and just make a random video um i got some time this uh this weekend fortunately i'm uh, i got a nice little break from exams so i might be putting up a couple more videos if i feel like it on some of the new resistance stuff um if you guys aren't subbed and you just kind of like seeing random videos every now and then i'm definitely not a daily poster but if you like seeing a video every like couple months or so then go ahead and subscribe it's always a nice surprise, honestly, when someone who like used to post daily and then it's just, okay, hey, there's a video. I haven't heard from them in a while. So that's definitely more what my channel is now. It's more of a hobby for me. It's definitely not like 
source of income or anything like that. It's not a daily thing. So um, go ahead and thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if there's anything you'd want to see um, in the coming weeks. I will have a little bit more time the next like week or two. Um, so I might be posting a couple more videos. So if there's anything you guys want to see, other class setups for this game, just like my opinion of this game, some live comms, stuff like that, I'm definitely very open to it. I know quite a bit about this game. I've played the crap out of it, like I said. Um, get to level 69 at the end of this video. So go ahead, let me know what you think. Um, I appreciate the new subscribers. I'm definitely very in tune with the subscribers just since I have a smaller sub pool. So I'm very open to your guys' feedback, your comments, suggestions, all that sort of stuff. So thanks to everyone who's watching. I'm going to let the rest of this just sort of play out. You guys can enjoy the gameplay. Um, I think I end up dropping like 50 plus in this hard point, which is pretty typical, honestly, for me in hard point. But with this new gun, obviously just kind of getting used to it still, I was pretty happy with that i guess um and just take note of how bad my team was at playing the objective i realize it's like a public lobby but i think i end up having like three and a half minutes on the hard point and the next closest person on my team i don't even think they like broke a minute so it's always kind of frustrating i don't know we still won somehow like right at the last minute which was like i don't really care that much i guess but it's always nice like when you're grinding you're getting 50 plus kills it's always nice to get the win too i mean i definitely very much play the objective um and whenever I'm playing with my friends, Bursting Dust and All the Jews, we actually, we're very good about playing the objective, especially in hard point. That's mostly what we play. Like, those guys usually get a couple minutes on it as well, but it just amazes me some of the people you get in. It's like, they should just really be playing team deathmatch, honestly, because they don't play the objective at all. Um, that's my rant anyways, guys. I hope you enjoy the video. Um, stay tuned until the end. We hit rank 69. Go ahead and thumbs up for that. I think it's worth it just for that. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Hopefully be coming with another video or two in the next coming days. And uh, nice to make a video for you guys again. To all my old subs. Alright guys, take it easy. Have a good one. Peace out. New hard point. Flush out the enemy. Counter ah! recon aircraft ready for flight. Enemy recon aircraft observed. Hard point locked down. Counterintelligence airborne. Aircraft ready for flight. Move out. Losing the fight! That's you! Enemy spotted! Uh, New hard point! Move out! Hard point is secure! Counter recon is airborne! Engaging enemy aircraft! Hard point is getting overrun! Need reinforcements. Hardpoint is in enemy hands. Seize and defend the hardpoint.
Hard point is secure. Counter recon flight complete. Turning in. We're winning the fight! Hard point is overrun. Need reinforcements. Great work. They are in full retreat. Giggity.